So you're thinking of moving to Brantford. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to go over top areas in Brantford that you can afford based on your salary. And if this is your first time to this channel, please like and subscribe for more helpful information about the surrounding areas and Brantford, of course. Uh, also, whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, text or email, and I'm happy to help. So based on an income of 80000 per year, uh, there's homes in the Eagle Place area and part of West Brant um, in the older part that start at about 400000 These homes may need some renovations and they will be smaller. It'll get you in the market, which is what a lot of young people want to do. Um, so for this, you will need a 5% down payment. So anything under 500,000, you only need a 5%. So for 400,000, this would be 20,000. Another thing Brantford does, there's a be home program they offer. Um, there is qualifying rules, but if a house is under 500,000 and you meet the qualifications, they will potentially help you with the deposit. So based on 80,000 a year, you would need to make to qualify for 400,000. Uh, with a 5% mortgage, 25 year amortization. Amortization is the life of the mortgage. So basically the plan is that you would be paying for your mortgage over 25 years. Your monthly payment would be $2,159 per month. Um, and in order to afford this, your income a monthly would be $6,666. And that's your gross income. Uh, next up, for a home around 500,000. Uh, you could find homes in Old West Brant, Homedale, um, Echo Place, uh, and these homes will be a bit older as well. They may need some updating. They may be a bit smaller. Um, so for this, you would need an income of about 110,000 per year. Uh, the 5% down because it is 500 under is the 5%. So you would need 25,000 for your down payment. Um, and for a uh, 25 year 5%, uh, your monthly payment would be $2,873. Your monthly income would need to be $9,166 per month. Um, and again, this could be a shared income. It doesn't mean to be your solo income. A lot of people do live with someone else. So you can find some great areas for that price range. Uh, and then another area, Briar Park and Greenbrier Park. Um, a lot of these homes start around 600,000. You can find them in the 500, but just for demonstration purposes, uh, 600,000, you would need an income of 123,000. When you go over 500,000, the first 500,000 is the 5% down. So $25,000 you would need. Anything above that is uh, 10%. So to make 600,000 is another 100,000. So that's 10% 10, 10 of 100 is 10,000. So that's 35,000 you would need for your down payment. So based on a 25 year amortization, 5%, your monthly payment would be $3,319. Uh, your income to qualify for this would be $10,250. So another great area you could live in and find a home for about 700,000. Uh, there's Myrtleville, Mayfair, Henderson, um, the New West Brant, parts of Linden Hills, uh, Echo Place. So you can find lots of great homes. These homes will be a bit bigger, possibly a bit more renovated, a bit more updated. So they'll offer more space. Qualify for 700,000, you would need an income of 150,000 a year. So up to the first 500,000 again is 25,000. And now it's 10% on 200 is 20,000. So your down payment is 45,000 for the $700,000 price range based on 5% interest rate, 25 year amortization. Your monthly payment would be $3,962. Your income to qualify for this would be $12,500 a month. 
if you wanted to buy a home for about 800,000. And you could get them in pretty much every area in Brantford. You would be getting a larger home, uh, more updated, more renovated, newer. Find these pretty much any subdivision. Uh, there's a couple that, I mean, you need to be above the million range, but most subdivisions like West Brant, nor all of the North End communities, um, Eagle Place, you'd be getting a really nice home, um, Echo Place. So for 800000 you would need an income of 162000 a year. Um, your down payment would be 55000 Um, Your monthly payment would be $4,372 a month. And your monthly income would need to be $13,500 a month. Um, and then the final one I'm going to say is the $900,000 price range. So this you would get a really nice home, a large home, probably around 3,000 square feet, give or take. I mean, if you're getting one in the 2,000 square foot, like 2,500, you're getting a very updated home. Um, so 900,000, you could get the larger homes in New West Brant, um, a really updated larger home in Henderson, all of the North End areas, Myrtleville, Mayfair, uh, Linden Hills, Briar Park, Greenbrier, um, the newer subdivision in the Henderson, which is uh, Park Road, Hardy Road, beyond there. Um, so for this $900,000 price point, you would need an income of $180,000 a year. Uh, and that would work out to 65,000 down payments. So again, 5% on the first uh, 500 and then 10% on the additional 400. So um, for this, you would need 15,000 a month um, to earn and your monthly payment would be $4,858. So the government is offering a lot of incentives where you can renovate your basement to make a separate dwelling. Um, and they will give you 15% back up to $50,000. And they will allow multi-generational families to charge for rooms to rent. So you can um, claim that income as well to show that you have more income earning potential so that you can qualify for more. So if you found this uh, video helpful and you want to hear more, please like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, I'd like to help you with your home search. So call, text, or email me at any time. And I'm happy to help. Uh, take care. Hope to see you around. Bye for now.